Okay, so take me through that session. So he shows up. Yeah. What you just have a blank ca- canvas? How how do you even start working on that beat? So no, how I attack sessions. It's like first I'll ask him, "Do you want to work on a beat from scratch?" Or I always come to sessions with very prepared. Like I'll have a folder, different genres, and then I'll order beats to like, how, like how I could hear an artist fitting a beat. So I'll order them like one, two, three, four. So I'll just play them in that order. And like, I'll ask him what kind of vibes you feel. And so I have like melodic pack, I'll have like a trap pack. And I feel like that's another good thing. You know, come, just come to the studio session, super prepared, have the beats like ready to go. If they do want to make one from scratch, I'll do that as well. But a lot of times I think we can just make more songs and knock them out if we just Without, like a lot of times I have like a couple of days to prepare for a session. And uh, so I'll just start cooking up a bunch of stuff that would fit their style and then just have a bunch of stuff ready to go for them. And then we can just so is that what happened like, here? You had that, that mm-hmm beat already done? Yeah, that beat was already done. So we just started going, that session, we just started going through beats. And I think that was probably the third one I played for him. Mm. And then uh, he heard it and he like looked over and smiled at me and he started the beat drop and he's started just vibing and like oh this is probably the one and then did you was it already sequenced did you sequence it around whatever he recorded because you were in there for a while and he was yeah he recorded it, vocals and everything was there an engineer involved yep there's an engineer his engineer aaron is super talented guy but uh that beat the way it came out was sequenced exactly how how it was uh originally sequenced and then the engineer obviously adds the chops and stuff to the beat, but yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, Cause of, God, now I really have to find this damn question. It had to do with <laughs> being in the studio with an artist. Um, and it was from, I want to say classy beat. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Classy beats. He says, what, was it like getting used to working in a studio session versus working at home? Um, I mean, obviously it's a big change from going to being in your bedroom, making beats, to being in a session with uh, artists. But, you know, you learn as you go. Like the first few sessions I did out here, the first three sessions were Polo G, 24K Golden, and Kid Leroy. And I was, you know, we knocked out a couple songs, but back then I didn't know to get the bounces or like, the songs from the engineer so and then i hit them up like a couple weeks later 24k golden's hard drive had crash so i don't have the song anymore same with leroy or not not with leroy but yeah, i got that song but um you just you it's very it's a learning process you get better as with each session honestly you just figured out that yeah you need to come to studio sessions prepared have a folder of beats that would fit their style. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's a big difference, but it's, it's fun, man. 